only love for you, Winnie. In 1914, vegetarian soldier Harry Colburn saw a downhearted black bear cub no more than 7 months old for sale. The orphaned cub quickly captured the soldier's heart, so he scooped the little bear into his arms and named him Winnie Peck in tribute to his hometown. Back to the military camp, his trusty companion Winnie followed him around like a puppy and slept under his cot. Soon his new pet became the regiment's mascot, often posing with soldiers for pictures. But after 7 weeks of training, the officer received a call to the western front, so Colburn brought Winnie to the London Zoo. Before parting, the soldier promised to bring Winnie back to Canada once the war was over. Whenever he received permission, Colburn visited Winnie in her new home. Although she had grown from cub into bear, Winnie remained as gentle as ever, even allowed to play with children. When the war ended, Colburn reunited with Winnie. However, he knew that the pet no longer belonged to him, but to the people of London. After saying his last goodbye to Winnie, Colburn returned to Winnipeg alone. Among the people who visited Winnie was an author, where the bear's tender nature became inspiration for his writing, Winnie the Pooh.